This video is to introduce and recommend for the Ben Drain Company having rice paper snack that wants to enter the United States. There would be the a brief information about this snack product, the attractiveness of American market through pest factors and the prospective business model. To start up with, the Ben Drain Company will provide the rice paper snack with variously flavored dipping pieces, innovated from the favorite Vietnamese traditional rice paper roll but advanced into the quality, nutrition and tastes. A 28 gram of rice paper snack will be made from the rice flour, vegetable juice which are cut into wedges and then baked, and a packet of sauce combining of peanuts and walnuts. The product provide the pure organic sourcing, not only for delicious snacking, but are also for rich in nutrients, and convenient to consume. Including three main products lines, Carrot Rice Paper Snack, Beetroot Rice Paper Snack and Green Bell Pepper Rice Paper Snack. Next, the market that we aim for is the United States. In terms of political factor, the biggest problem we can face is the complicated procedures, and high standard requirements. However, the U.S. taxes for snack products is still low, and can also vary on different states. The U.S. is known for having the biggest economy in the world, with a very high disposable income and expenditure per capita. The population of the U.S. is around 300 millions in 2016 and has seen an increase in number of older women with families and high income. This has led to the rising trend of eating more healthy products. In the technological factor, country was ranked third in terms of number of Internet users. Moreover, the online snack purchase figure has been steadily rising with Amazon is now the most popular snack provider. The next part is all about the product entry mode. In order to do business in the US, it is recommended that exporting in both direct and indirect way, is a suitable market entry mode for the Bantrain company. In order to reduce complex steps in administrative papers when exporting product to America, the company would hire an American law agency, which has expertise and experiences in food industry, that could provide a full spectrum of legal services to the company. The first component of business model is value proposition. The pressures on extended working hours, fear of unemployment, and spending restrictions have the significant impact on the United States snack market. Minus 97% of the U.S. consume snack every day as pure enjoyment, meal replacement and its convenience. But they also have the healthy fear as the high in calories and low in health benefits snacks contain. While they still seek for the value snacks including healthy, good taste, reliability and convenience over the price factor. Based on that, the product commit to provide the 100% organic ingredients with no artificial colors, and high nutrition, coming from all natural the favorite Vietnamese rice paper, and high nutrition vegetables. Next, we will continue with value delivery, firstly on the product target customers. There are two kinds of, target customers of this snack product, including household, and healthy realist. Both of them have the same, geographic segmentation. They are living in urban areas, and cities like, California, Los Angeles, and New York, where there are high population density, proximity of public transportation, and schools. So with the household as the first target customer. The rice paper snack focus on parents, who are over 35 years old, and have children aged from, 6 to 18 years old. That having analyzed details in segmentations. Therefore, the benefit sought that rice paper snack provide, is the affordability, convenience, and the provision of nutrition in the product. Next, we have the second target customers called healthy realist. They are individuals, who are above 35 years old, that have characteristics analyzed in the table. Hence, the benefit sought that rice paper snack aims to meet the customer's demand, of a healthy, and nutritious snack having affordable price, and also convenient to shop. Then, with direct exporting, the snack would be supplied to some crowded, and attractive supermarkets and convenience stores, 
because almost supermarkets nowadays have the property teams to seek for the profitable demographic, for their supermarket as well as convenience stores to reach the highest number of customers. The company should also select indirect exporting, which means for the exporting, of rice paper snack through a third party, which is the online shopping website like Amazon, to coordinate the entry and assumes the risk. As for customer relationship strategy, we will develop a mobile payment platform. This platform will allow customers to pay through access of their credit card, record the past purchase and earn points. These points can be changed into coupons or discounts after reaching a specific number. There are two suppliers that we will work with in our production process. The lot farms that provide fresh vegetables, and Mekong Delta farmers that produce high-quality rices in large quantity. Its will be directly purchased and managed by the company to ensure the quality of vegetables and minimizing the production cost. Beside, the advances technology apply is important to ensure not only the tasting, freshness, brittleness of product but meet the U.S. standard in food safety, temperature and packaging. Finally, distribution partners are one of the company's key partners. We will corporate with many popular grocery stores and supermarkets in the U.S. like Publix, Safeway, and Whole Food Market, to make sure the availability of products to consumers. At this part, we will combine the rice paper snack market positioning into value capture. In a brief, rice paper snack positions itself as high nutrition with affordable price to be competitive with Korean brand, Give Me Health Foods organic roasted seaweed snacks. There are three reasons that the Ban Trang company should base on cost-based pricing of rice paper snack including. Firstly, American customers currently have a preference for more healthy daily snack and also willing to pay more for the best value product. While, rice paper snack here, represents for a healthy, and all-natural snack product. Therefore, it could be easier for the company in setting price, but still attract customers. However, there are some barriers that requires the band drink company to spend money, to hire American law agency, and customer broker for advices, and supports. By setting price based on the costs for, producing, distributing and selling product, the firm can also shorten the time, to cover the most important cost of the business, which is fixed cost, because it takes the business long time to reach a mass production. To explain, here are the output, variable and fixed inputs of the production. The firm can only control, and have a good deal with its suppliers to make sure of the suitable cost of variable inputs in order to avoid losses for the business, and make profits to cover the company's initial investment. Moreover, for the cost of distributing, the Ban Train company is advised to account the cost for transportation cost and exporting cost, because it is costly to export product from Vietnam to America. Because the company would just firstly enter the U.S. market and needs to follow the expected position as described in positioning map. Therefore, the expected profits on selling product after extracting the cost of producing and distributing need to be considered to still provide a competitive price. So, here is the reference list. Thank you for spending your time.